All right, guys. Hope that you can hear me. Um, so I, I don't. I don't. I never know how to do these, and I don't have much of a filter, so I try to think about being easy and. Um, I just believe in saying things the way it is and I know it's tough and it's really really tough on me and this is this is this is a really tough one for me and I'll just say it so I can get into more detail with you guys but unfortunately sadly uh, Charlie has passed away <sighs> Our sweet, sweet Charlie. Oh, Charlie, Charlie. Uh, but it's not his passing that's, that's, I mean, that's obviously, that's difficult. And as always, it's what more what Charlie meant. Uh, Charlie was a great, great little guy. He was so adorable. And I, and I've really, I, I struggle to think of a goat that I missed more when he left here than Charlie. He took a little piece of my heart and he was just such a special little guy. And uh, it was more important to me that once he got to Lisa's farm and Lisa's husband had has cancer, as you guys know, and I didn't want to touch on that too much because I didn't know how, I know she watches every day and I didn't know how that would make her feel hear, hearing those words from someone else. So I just barely touched on it, but he does have cancer and he has lots of doctor's visits, as you can imagine, for chemo and things like that. And Charlie motivated him to get up and get out and move on and, you know, chase a baby goat and pet a baby goat. And um, I'm gonna do a montage at the end of this. I hope you guys can hear me well enough, but it's the love that he brought to their family and the inspiration that he gave her husband. And cause she always told me that her husband would go to his appointments and he would talk about this adorable little pocket goat that he has. And, and, and that inspired him to, 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 to be happy and, and to have something to talk about. And, and he just, just loved, loved, loved Charlie and talked about him. And it's just, I'm more, I'm more, I hurt more for that, for that loss, if that makes sense for his, for his loss of his little Charlie and, um, the, like, I, 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 I don't know how to say it without, you know, obviously Charlie being, Charlie passing is, is incredibly um, sad. And I don't want to, but the, the inspiration that it gave, that Charlie gave her husband and the motivation and the, everything involved with that is just, <clears throat> saddens me more the thing is she uh i think i think his i think charlie's issue is was basically i i'm sure a lot of you have heard uh failure to thrive as a term he developed a little bit of coccidia when she got him and they treated for that and he got through that and then it was okay putting weight on him putting some weight on little charlie and he wasn't gaining weight. He played obviously and ate well and drank well. She took immaculate care and still does of all the goats that she's gotten from us. And I know from conversations we've had, we've had long texts and long phone calls. And I know that she did and does everything that she possibly can for her goats. So, 
it definitely was not any issue there. She, it's so, sometimes it's just the goat and sometimes it is exactly that. It's failure to thrive or they're born with a condition that potentially, even though he lived quite some time, uh, I believe he was born May 4th and it's just, he, I don't know, you never know. And it may have just been an underlying condition that took longer uh, to develop. She had just, and I mean just, taken him to the vet and got a clean bill of health, worked with the vet to uh, make sure his diet was right. And all the vet was saying is, you know, continue to add protein to beef him up a little bit, to add that weight to him. His worm count was virtually zero. He was in perfect physical health. He got a flying colors, uh, whatever you want to call it, bill of health from the vet. And the vet said he's in great shape. And then I'm not sure if it was a couple days later that he just passed away. Uh, she was thinking maybe it was a cold night and he was sleeping with Giz. Gizmo, if you guys remember Gizmo, um, and maybe Giz got up and left him and then he was by himself and, and maybe he got too cold and wasn't able to recover because he wasn't beefy enough. And so nobody knows. And I don't think <sighs> at this point it's irrelevant. I know 100% no questions asked that she did every possible thing she could do for Charlie and she loved loved Charlie and her husband loved him and her son loved him and I know he was extremely well taken care of and so I don't know but what I do know is that she Lisa is a fantastic amazing amazing person and she thought it would be best to, um, this is where it's gonna get me. It didn't get me until, and it, she thought it was best to bring Charlie back to us. And so, <clears throat> um, so she had Charlie, I don't know if you guys can see that. She had Charlie cremated for us. I am not gonna get through this. Um, she brought us his collar with the little bell on it. And I want to know, what do we do with this? Um, something, nothing. Uh, I might just, might just hang it on the wall back there with brosies. Um, I might hang it closer to the door so I can walk in every day and just ding that. Remember Charlie, or maybe we give it to give it to one of the girls um, to just carry on. Now the collar won't last forever if we do that, but the bell pretty much will. So we could keep Charlie here forever with his bell. It would be the only bell ever on the farm. Um, so maybe we do that. If you guys just get in the comments, one. <sighs> I'm gonna get through it. Give Lisa some love, please. And um, two, let me know. Let me know what we do. Uh, yeah. So she also, made this for us. Um, <sighs> this is the part that's gonna get me. So she had Charlie cremated. So Charlie is in here. So when I opened the lid yesterday, <sighs> I'll just let you guys read it because I'm not gonna be able to talk. That's it.
Stitch does not seem to be. No, he. No. We'll say Charlie's putting in a lot more effort. Than he clearly Stitch. is. He's throwing like feints like, and everything. Yeah. <laughs> Charlie's trying to Charlie's trying to prove a point, and Stitch is just standing there, like whatever, dude. A couple head fades. Did you even? I think, oh, now, oh, Stitch now is like, you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep, you ticked him off now, Charlie. <laughs> I mean, if y'all could be sitting here with us. <laughs> oh, oh, no. Oh, oh goodness. It's getting real. <laughs> Lordy, you just dug some ground there, man. Take like time to, uh, you know, the scratch. send a tweet or whatever you just did there. 